Hey everybody, I am so glad you're joining us today. I'm Jen, if we haven't had a chance to meet yet, and let me tell you why I'm so glad you're here. Well, first, we're always glad when you choose to show up. If it's your first time checking us out, you picked a great week to stop in. But I know it's not easy going someplace new, so kudos to you for doing it. Whether it's your first time or your 40th, I hope you know we created this place for you and we want you to feel right at home. The second reason I'm so glad you're here is because we are kicking off a brand new series that I know is going to be incredibly helpful for you and maybe a little bit challenging. We're going to take the next three weeks to tackle the topics of love, sex, and dating in our series. Hey, what you doing, Jen? Um, hey, Jared. Uh, I'm talking to our students about our new series. Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> so what's the new series? It's complicated. I know things can be hard to explain sometimes. I get that way too, but... No, uh, I mean the series. It's called It's Complicated. Oh, that's clever. Well, if you say so. Jared, what, what are you doing with that thing? What is that? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, I'm calling it a thingamajobber. You know. <laughs> what, are you the little mermaid? No, seriously. <laughs> like, what are you doing with that? I, I, I got in a box. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. I think it could be something to do with a musical instrument. I'm going to ask Andy and see what no, happens. No, definitely not. Listen, if you found it in a box, did you look for the directions? Because it'll probably explain exactly. <laughs> yeah. And instructions are another man's opinion about what to do about something. I use the old brain right here to figure things out. Okay, yeah. But they really might help you to... Look, it could be something you throw. It could be oh, something Okay, you... whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, big fella. You need to go find the instructions all right, right now. Well, all right. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever tried to assemble something without using the instructions before, like Jared? Most of the time, I'm a read of the directions first kind of gal, but one time I was putting together a rocking chair for my back porch, and it seemed pretty obvious what I needed to do, so I skipped the directions and I proceeded to put the legs on backwards. Then I had to backtrack and start all over. What about with other stuff, like cooking? Like, have you ever read the directions when you're making something, but decided to ignore what they said. Like, okay, you're making a cake and the recipe always says to mix the batter on medium high speed for two minutes. It seems ridiculous. I mean, it's mixed in like 30 seconds. Why do we have to keep mixing it? I never used to follow those directions. And then a friend made this amazing cake that was like super light and fluffy. And I asked her what her secret was. And she said she used to not mix the batter for the full two minutes, but found out mixing it that long is actually what causes the cake to rise really well. So it turns out there was a really good reason why that was like part of the recipe. Who knew? Clearly not me. Okay. Yikes. Okay, guys. Uh, why don't we hit pause for a minute while I try to help Jared out with this thing? Uh, while I'm gone, how about you all share with your group, whether you're someone who reads directions or instructions beforehand, or if you just like to try and figure it out on your own. I'll be right back. <laughs> 